Welcome to Glossika Intro Series. In this series, we talk about the basics of languages and in today's video, we will talk about the French language. Just like English, the French alphabet also consists of 26 letters. And these are the vowels in French language. A, E, I, O, U, Y. Note, French vowels are pure, meaning when you pronounce them, the position of your tongue and mouth stays the same and doesn't change. Unlike other Romance languages such as Spanish or Italian, the French writing system is non-phonemic, meaning that the words are pronounced differently than the way they are spelled. Because the modern French writing system is mainly based on the pronunciation of Old French, and has therefore kept a spelling sometimes close to the one used over 700 years ago. Despite this fact, there are still a few rules to help you find your way around and develop an intuition for the French language and its writing system. Pronunciation rules. There are many rules and exceptions in French. We cannot talk about them all in one video, but instead we will only talk about some of the most common and important rules. Silent letters in French. Except for a few letters, consonants are generally silent when they come at the end of a word, but only these letters are pronounced in a final position. L, C, F, R. Example, fil, tunnel, trafic, parc, natif, bref, air, amer. An easy way to help you remember these consonants is by remembering the word Lucifer or careful. Both words contain the only four consonants that are pronounced at the end of a word. The only exception to this rule is the final R for verb infinitives in a first group. We will talk about the verb groups later on in this video. Demander, manger. All vowels are pronounced at the end of a word except for the E vowel. Mer, tuile, guerre. Letter H is always silent in French. Example: Haricot, hiver. This letter is pronounced as S. Leçon. Conçu. CH is pronounced as SH. As an English word, ship. CHA. H. But in the words of Greek origin, is pronounced as KE. Example: Archaic. Kao. So when a word contains ch and is pronounced as k, you know that this word has a Greek origin. Letter G before E, I and Y is pronounced as J. Givre. Age. And elsewhere is pronounced as G. Ego. Gan. R or double R is pronounced as R. Example: Grain. Serré. J is pronounced as J. Joie. Séjour. These three are all pronounced as K. Example: Cinq. Piqûre. Quand. Quotidien, acquis, grec. NG in loan words is pronounced as ng. Parking, marketing. S and double S are pronounced as s. Cell, fosse. S often between two vowels is pronounced as Z. Sozi. Abusif. X is pronounced as X. Extérieur. Ax. But often between two vowels is pronounced as X. Exagéré. Exil. GN is pronounced as Nye. 
as an English word onion. Campagne. Agneau. GU is pronounced as G. Vague. Guide. After vowels, these two are pronounced as Y. I. Deuil. Paille. Vowels and vowel combinations. Letter A is pronounced as A. Arabe. La. Pat. They're all pronounced as E. Les. Maître. Mère. Être. Neige. These two are pronounced as O. Chaud. Faux. Beau. So. E. Blé. D. Année. EU is pronounced as E. Note, if you round your lips while continuously pronouncing E, it becomes E. Bleu. De. Feu. I is pronounced as I. Li. Il. And often before a vowel is pronounced as Y. Bien. Bière. O. Chose. Mot. This sound is just like a regular O sound, but you have to open your mouth a little bit more. O. Or. Endormi. E. Cœur. Sœur. E. Phonologically finally means that if it's the last sound of a word, not necessarily the last letter, because some letters in French are silent. V. Ne. OI is pronounced as WA. Although not very accurate, but a quick way to remember this word is by remembering the English word choir, where in this word the OI is pronounced as WA. Loi. Bois. Miroir. Why. Loyer. Voyage. Noyau. They're all pronounced as O. Do. O. Go. These two are pronounced as U. Note if you round your lips while continuously pronouncing E. It becomes U. Futur. Sur. And often before a vowel is pronounced as L. Cui. Continua. Lui. I. Signe. Enzyme. Cycle. Y. Y. Yoga. Oui. Essuyé. Bruyant. Tuyau. In the words that contain only one syllable, or before a silent consonant, letter E is pronounced as E. Né. E. Before two or more consonants or before letter X, the letter E is pronounced as E. Ver. Examen. Elsewhere is pronounced as 
E. Demande. Mener. And as we mentioned earlier, the letter E is silent when it comes at the end of a word. Mer. Tuile. Guerre. Nasal sounds. There are three nasal sounds in French. They are En Un On Nasal means that the air passes through the nose when you pronounce these sounds. Nasal sounds appear when a vowel is followed by letter M or N. Most of the nasal sounds appear when they are before a consonant or they come at the end of a word. Ancre, artisan, camp, emmêlé, client, pan. Impact, fin, parfum, brun, teint, lynx, pain. Essain. Main. This sound is exactly like a regular O, but with the air flowing through the nose as well as the mouth. Ombre. Béton. Long. Remember that most of the nasal sounds should appear before a consonant or at the end. For example, Saint. Seine. Ment, mené, tondu, tonal. Gender. In French, every noun is either masculine or feminine. We can often recognize the gender of a noun by its ending. EUR is a typical ending of masculine nouns. For example, chanteur, vendeur. And the following endings are typical of feminine nouns. Chanteuse, vendeuse, vitesse, tigresse. But not every noun ends like these examples. And a better way to know and remember if a noun is masculine or feminine is to learn the noun with its definite or indefinite article. These are the definite and indefinite articles in French. Le la, les, un, une, des. Note, the plural form is the same for both masculine and feminine. Le, le pont, le balcon. La, la mer, la pluie. Les, les enfants. Les vêtements. Un. Un chien. Un sac. Une. Une tasse. Une plante. Des. Des soldats. Des amis. If a noun starts with a vowel or silent edge, the definite article le la becomes l l'arbre l'hymne and in order to learn the gender of these words we need to learn the word with its indefinite article example un arbre une hymne note in english when we say the children only children is plural the definite article the is not plural. But in French, if a noun is plural and we use a definite article, the definite article should also be plural. The gender of adjectives. In French, the adjective must agree with the noun in gender and in number. That means when the noun is masculine, the adjective is also masculine. And when the noun is feminine, the adjective is also feminine. Example, le manteau bleu. La robe bleue. Masculine adjectives can be made into feminine in several ways. Most often, 
we can change a masculine adjective into feminine by adding an e at the end of the adjective. Example. Génial. Génial. Amical. Amical. Note, even when we add e, both adjectives are read the same and the only difference is in the written form. Another way is by doubling the final consonant and adding e. Example. Ancien. Ancienne. Bas. Bas. Or by changing the ending. But there are many different possible changes depending on the ending. If the adjective already ends with an e in the masculine, it stays the same in the feminine form. Singular and plural. To make a word plural, we usually add s at the end. Notice that this s is silent in speech. Livre, livre, table, table. When the word ends with e, o, o, we add x at the end. Cheveux, cheveux, drapeau, drapeau. When the word ends with al or ai, we change the ending to o. Animal, animaux, cheval, chevaux, travail, travaux, corail, coraux. Subject pronouns. These are the subject pronouns in French language. Je, tu, il, elle, on, nous. Vous, il, elle. To say I am or you are in French, we use the verb être. These are the conjugations for the be verb in French. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, on est, nous sommes. Vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Je suis enseignant. Vous êtes médecin. Elle est grande. On est heureux. Il est charpentier. Elles sont intelligentes. Verb groups. There are three groups of verbs in French. First group, verbs whose infinitive ends with er, except the verb aller. Example, manger, parler. Majority of the verbs in French belong to the first group, and if new verbs are added to the French language in the future, they will directly be added to the first group. Second group, these verbs in infinitive form end in and whose present participle ends with i sans, equivalent to ing in English. Example, finir, finissant, nourrir, nourrissant. So if a verb infinitive ends in ir, but the present participle is not i sans, it means the verb does not belong to the second group, and therefore is a third group. That's why it's important to learn the present participle of these words. Third group contains all the verbs that are conjugated irregularly. No more new verbs will be added to the third group, but some of the most common verbs in French belong to this group. Example. Courir. Pouvoir. Boire. Present tense. Here is a conjugation for the present tense. Manger. Je mange. Tu manges. Il mange. Elle mange. On mange. Nous mangeons. Vous mangez. Il mange. Elle mange. Finir. Je finis. Tu finis. Il finit. Elle finit. On finit, nous finissons, vous finissez, 
Ils finissent. Elles finissent. Notice how four of the six conjugations often pronounce the same. And for this reason, the subject pronouns cannot be omitted in French. Past tense. Past tense in French is constructed as present perfect in English. To have plus past participle. But in French, two verbs are used. To have or to be plus past participle. To have is used more commonly. This is the present tense conjugation of the verb avoir. To have. J'ai. Tu as, il a, elle a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Next, we need the past participle. For the verbs that end in ER, we add, example, aimer, aimer. And for the verbs that end in, we add, Finir, fini. And if a verb ends in RE, we add Vendre, vendu. For the irregular verbs, you have to study them separately. J'ai mangé un sandwich hier soir. Nous avons demandé à nos parents. Ils ont déménagé plusieurs fois. Vous avez dormi toute la journée. Tu as fait la vaisselle ce matin. Negation. Negation in French is expressed with these three words. Non. Ne. Pas. Non. This word means no, and it's used the same way as no in English. Tu veux un café? Non, merci. Ne and pas. Both mean not in English. They surround the verb. One goes before the verb and one goes after. Je ne mange pas. Je n'aime pas ça. Omission of ne. In spoken French, however, ne is often omitted from the negative. Je mange pas. J'aime pas ça. Possession. To express possession in French, we use the word de, equivalent to the English word of or s. Le chat de Marie. Le sommet de la montagne. Le chien d'Anna. And these are the possessive adjectives in French. Mon, ma, mais, ton, ta, tes, son, sa, c'est, notre, notre, nous, votre, votre, vos. Leur, leur, leur. Possessive adjectives are still adjectives, and they should agree with the noun they describe or modify in gender and in number. Take a look at this example. His mother, her mother. The word mother is feminine, so the possessive adjectives should follow the noun in gender. Another example. Son père, son père. In the plural form, there are no gender differences. Notre voiture, notre bureau. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our Glossika channel to see more videos like this one. And let us know in the comment section what language do you want to see next.